Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to the new Galaxy Gamers channel and welcome back to the Carpathian Farm. Alright, I was just uh, doing a little bit of tidying up this morning before we get our day started. We got a bunch to do today. But first, if you... But first, just a quick legal disclaimer. I am a software developer. I do own my own software development company focusing on virtual worlds and virtual world related platforms. I do not work for, I am not meaning, I am not employed by, I am not an independent contractor of, nor am I paid to promote the games that I play on this channel. That means I do not develop those games. So I'm not paid to promote the games either. I have no contractual relationship with the developers of the games that we play here on this channel. I bring you these videos merely for entertainment purposes only. And from time to time, I may give my thoughts and feedback about the games that I play, what could be done better, what I like, what I think is great, what I think they shouldn't change, and all that good stuff. So, there is that. Also, we want, I want to take a, make a quick welcome to everybody that has subscribed in the last week. Thank you for your, your support. I hope you enjoy the videos on this channel. There are much, many more videos to come and many other games coming to this channel. I am fairly new at this, so I'm still getting the hang, getting to know the ropes, if you will. Uh, or getting to understand how all this works and everything like that. So it may take me a few times uh, to get it perfect. Oh, a nice hot air balloon. I've never seen that before. Oh, on the farm though. That's pretty cool. First time I've seen that. I've always thought it would be cool to take a ride in a hot air balloon. Is that thing moving? Huh. I, I've never noticed that. Interesting. Anyway, so thank you <laughs> as I get distracted, as you can tell. Um, so thank you to everybody that has liked and subscribed and all that good stuff. Uh, I really appreciate the support. If you do leave a comment, please feel free to leave comments on your suggestions on what I can do better and all that too. Because it does help because I like hearing from you. I like hearing what you think I can do better, bring you better quality entertainment. Clean this, finish cleaning all this stuff up while I'm at it. As you can tell, I finally, for those of you that have been watching the farming, this farming simulator series from the start, as you can probably tell, I finally got around to getting the, um, portable, uh, Pressure washer, like I said I would. I almost forgot about it, but I realized I remembered it this morning. So, anyway, we do have some work to do. I did finish the um, planting of the wheat field, by the way. Uh, I finished that off camera. I figured, well, I got to finish the con. I had said I was going to finish putting the. Um, getting the contract field cultivated for the other folks off camera and I did and I figured well may as well get the wheat field planted while we're at it so that deck that needs to be rolled and fertilized but we do got to get our grass field planted before we do that so let's go and Get that done. My hope is to get all that done today so that uh, when it hits October, we can go ahead and, and harvest the oil, the harvest the uh, other field that we have. And um, I 
get some uh, food barley going maybe oats I think so as you can see I've finished this field up we'll get some uh, bar oats going for the horses because they're gonna need that I think that's what we our next crop that we're gonna have to plant Uh, let's, uh, clean this all up while we're right here. Pretty clean, actually. So that's all set. We'll just take a quick stroll over to our lovely tractor. So as you can see, the field's cultivated. Got all this done. I really like that hot air balloon. That's pretty cool. I think that's actually the first time I've noticed that over there in the series since we've been on this uh, map. I've always wanted to take a... Uh, A ride in a hot air balloon. But I think because of my eyesight, I think that probably would not be a good idea. Oh, yeah, I got it. I'll just clean this up. Get all the dirt out of the... Out of it. It's always important, ladies and gentlemen, to keep your to keep your uh, equipment clean I know I sometimes have a bad habit of not doing that but <laughs> believe me it is important more important than you realize right set this for grass all set turn this tractor on and we'll get it going. So we'll get this uh, all done. We'll plant this field with grass. I'll let the uh, tractor, the um, the hired AI do the bulk of the work, and then we'll come back and do the touch up and finish it off. It actually will not take us all that long to do this. And that'll allow us a little time to sit back and relax and have a cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee. <coughs> Sad part is where I live, there's not a Dunkin' Donuts. Mostly Tim Hortons up here. Anyway, I hope you're all having a, <laughs> a great weekend, a great week. Hope you're all doing well. Um, and you're all safe and sound and uh, doing what you need to do to fend off a hot summer or a cold winter, depending on where you're watching from. As I was going to say, and I got totally sidetracked, which... Anyone who has known me for any period of time will tell you that me getting sidetracked happens often. Um, if you leave a comment, which I do enjoy reading your comments and I enjoy responding to them, uh, I do learn from your from the, in the feedback you provide in your comments, so please feel free to uh, leave your comments in the videos. Um, so that way I can learn. I like learning. Um, but if you do leave a comment and I respond to it and for some reason you find the response either incorrect or uh, maybe the response offends you in some way, 
just know that it's not my intention to offend anybody if especially if it is your um leaving your comment in a language other than English. Um, when I read comments for, from people that speak another a language other than English, I have to use a translator to translate your comment. And sometimes translators don't, unfortunately, translate uh, to English from other, from foreign languages all that well. So please, um, Forgive me if I do accidentally respond in a way that offends you. It's not intentional. It's not on purpose. Um, it's most likely just because I didn't actually understand what your comment was. And I do the best that I can. Um, so just please keep that in mind. Please don't be discouraged and not leave it. Please don't be discouraged to the point where you don't want to leave a comment. I will always do my best to respond to your comments and because I enjoy doing that. I enjoy, you know, talking with you guys. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy uh, reading the comments and, and learning from the feedback you give me. Um, it really does help. And I do thank everybody for that. And I do want everybody in this community to know I do appreciate it. So, um, Please feel free to leave comments and um, I will do my best to respond to them. Uh, if I don't respond like right away, it's not anything personal. It's probably because I also, as a software developer, I do have a day job that I have to do. And so usually when I, usually what I will do is I will check the comments on my videos in the morning when I wake up and I have my morning coffee before I start my work day. And then I will, you know, generally take a break during my lunch and dinner break to see if um, there's any comments I need to respond to, to look at, things like that. And then I usually will check them before I go to bed at night um, as well. So if I don't respond right away, don't worry. I will. Um, you can guarantee I will respond to your comments. And I will do the best uh, that I can to, to translate the comments to make sure my responses are correct. So um, thank you for the comments. Thank you to everybody who's leaving suggestions. I, I do appreciate it. I had one suggestion about a way of advertising the channel and getting helping people to know about my channel. Um, I am looking into that, and I want to thank the individual for that information as well. Um, she was a big help to um, giving me that information, and I do thank her for that. So um, I will be continuing to look into that. I like to try to do my research before I um, implement an idea, so... It might take me a little bit, but that's just because I'm doing my due diligence and making sure that I'm doing the right thing. All right, so that out of the way, before I get sidetracked again. <laughs> um, right, we're planting grass here. So I'm thinking um, maybe this weekend I will probably do just a casual live stream and just hang out with you guys. Um, I will let you know if it's going to be on the Twitch channel or here on the YouTube channel. Um, either way, I'll still post the uh, ultimate video from it here on the YouTube anyway. Um, but I think I'm... Just gonna live stream for a little bit this weekend and hang out with you guys and I don't know we'll have some fun we'll maybe we'll play a little space engineers see what shenanigans we get into there maybe uh, hang out on city sky the old city skylines one um, I don't have all the DLCs for city skylines one but you know it is what it is 
I'm not going to spend all kinds of money when I know that uh, City Skylines 2 is coming. In just a matter of a couple of months. So, um, yeah, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> um, we might, maybe we'll do some Medieval Engineers. I am planning on doing a little something with Medieval Engineers as a series, but like I said, it's not going to be one where I'm going after um, bandits and things like that. It just, I don't know, that to me doesn't... Yeah, it is part of Medieval history and whatnot, but I like building. And uh, so I think we'll probably focus on the building stuff. Um, beyond that, so we might do that. I don't know what day, w whether it'll be Saturday or Sunday yet. I haven't decided, I haven't figured that out, but I will, and I will let you guys know. Or I'll try to let you guys know ahead of time. I'm also working on the website. I'm going to be working, doing some more work on the, uh, new Galaxy Gamers website today later today after I get this video recorded so um, maybe we'll get some more information up on there for you guys too I still have to finish uh, working on the back-end infrastructure on the back-end stuff and getting the HTML done so or the HTML is what you guys see so Right. Gonna make it around this. Good. All right. I think what, while this field is doing its thing, I think we should probably You know what, actually Jeez, this tractor Alright, let's see Let me remember where my sprayer is Oh yeah Not yet with the roller. <laughs> Goodness. Let's, uh... We need to go get... I actually help if I hit the right button to back up. All right, let's go get ourselves some fertilizer. feed our puppy dog while we're at it. Let's go feed Rover real quick. Let's go feed Rex real quick. Oh. 
See where Mr. Rex is. I really need to mug with this. I probably should cut the lawn, shouldn't I, guys? <laughs> Here he comes. There's our buddy. All right, let's go and quickly do this. We have to go and get liquid fertilizer. And we will spray, we will do the fertilizing of the wheat field while the grass field is being planted. Um, and then it's just a matter of rolling the wheat field. Now the field will be ready to go. And we'll do the same with the grass field. It's fertilizing the, the wheat field is not really going to take long. Um, getting that grass field planted, I suspect, won't take too long either. So we should be able to get both fields, plant, the grass field planted, both fields fertilized, and maybe rolled in all, all in this video. I don't know. My goal is to make sure that we've got it all done so that way, that way uh, we can have a little rest and relaxation from that. Maybe do stuff around the farm. Before we have to harvest the other field. Okay, so as you can see, I did also, I forgot to tell you guys, I did also sell the, the other trailers, the other tractors off, like I told you, and, I, and we bought the three big tractors. We still have the two small tractors that we are going to need, but um, I figured, you know, it would be okay to do that. We're going to need the bigger tractors anyway. All right, let's get some uh, liquid fertilizer here, shall we? I think one of these should do it. Um, my goal is to upgrade all of our equipment to bigger stuff, so that way it just goes a little faster in the future. We've got a full sprayer. So that's my goal is to get us to a point where we can just go ahead and get rid of all the old small stuff and get bigger and better. Equipment that'll make our lives a lot easier. Get out of my way, thank you. Busy morning. 
people are out and about shopping and doing their thing. It's very good. I like to see them shopping and doing their thing. Life's a little bit more fun. Okay, let's go and go and get our field fertilized. Goodness. Hey. I think that should line up. Yeah, that should line up. Right. Yeah. All right, that'll get the wheat field fertilized. A few. I was thinking I was going to have to take out one of those trees. Didn't want to have to do that because I do like them. We'll have to, I knew I'd have to do a little cleaning up. Okay. Did not tell you to plant do that, did I? Okay. 
Yeah, so the AI, one thing I've noticed with Farm Sim 22, and I don't know if anybody else out there has noticed this or not. Um, but if you don't get the fields just right in the map, they overlap each other and cause problems for the AI, the worker AI in general. So I think, I think some of the problem that people see with course play and with the general, the, the, um, the, uh, what we call vanilla helper AI in the base game. I think that has to do with it is because or has a little something to do with it at least because people are not getting um, people are not getting the the um, the fields right in their maps and they're making them so i think that might actually be part of the re part of the problem that i see people have for and part of the cause of the various problems i see people having with um course play and whatnot just because And I'm not saying like the the map authors are bad at this or anything. I'm I'm not saying that at all. Um, I just I think it's I think it just has to do with the fact that um, it's it's a lot of it's the way Giants has written this game, the base game code, I think, and the logic. Um, and then when the when the map authors go to create their maps, they're they think they're getting the fields right, and maybe they are. You know, like I said, I'm not saying they're not. Um, but when they go to do the fields in the maps that they're making, something is not translating right, and it causes the AI to think fields are overlapping each other, and that they should be working on another field that you own when, in fact, you haven't set them to work in that field yet. Play trees. So, it might be something Giants needs to look at, because I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's the map makers or if it's just something Giants needs to really have a serious look at as a potential issue that they've caused. I'm not prepared to say that it's the map authors causing it because I don't really think it is. I think it is something in the base game with the AI. Maybe And maybe it's just the AI logic. I don't know. Because I don't have access to the... I don't have access to the... Um... To the source code for the game, so... You know, it's not like I can look at it and say, oh, here's your problem. Not that I wouldn't mind. 
I'm going to just get these edges done. In my experience, doing the doing the headers usually is a better idea anyway. Now it should do it. So yeah, I don't know. That may be a Giants thing that, that maybe they need to look at. And so if anybody from Giant Software happens to see this video, that might be something for you to look into. Because that may have that may affect actually car, course play because, you know, really the reality is course play is really more kind of based on the logic of the AI uh the AI logic in the base game, so Still gonna cause me an annoyance there, huh? How are you? Okay, well, it's okay, we'll come back and fix that. Clean that up. Let it do its thing. Yeah, I think I am going to have to remember to do that headline next time. That's okay. That's okay, because that'll actually give us something to do. We got to remember to do that on the other field, on the grass field, too.
as you can see, it's not going to take us long to finish getting this field all fertilized. We will have to come back and once this field is fertilized, once this round of fertilization is done, we will have to come back and do at least one more application later. Get this finished up. There's our church bells. This field is almost done for this application. I'll need to look and see. I'll need to look on the map after and see uh, what level fertilization level it gives us. That will tell us whether, we're, whether we are going to need to make one more application of this field later. I think we will.
So, uh, for those of you who are, can't wait for City Skylines 2 to come to the new Galaxy Gamers channel, which, to be honest with you, I'm excited for. Um, I, it looks like, um, Colossal Entertainment has, it looks like they've, um, taken some of the ideas from the old Sim City and brought it into the City Skylines 2, which is really cool. And one of those things is it sounds like from now on in the new game, in the new base game, uh, you're not really going to have to worry about the pipelines all that much uh, because for the most part, they are going to be under the streets and I guess they're going to be built into that from my understanding. Which is how it works with SimCity 2013. And it would make sense because that's generally how it's done in the real world anyway. Uh, power lines generally in the real world will follow your streets as well. But um, there are power lines that go, do go cross country in the real world. So that they might there might be a little bit more um there might be a little bit more flexibility on that i don't know uh but i think it's pretty cool that they're implementing you know some of the means and methods that sim city 2013 had um i gotta tell you i liked sim city 2013 though and i do have that game on my old ubisoft account but um yeah while it's folding up let's check this field and see its fertilization status Okay, so I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Gently knocked my mic away. I was looking at the wrong field. Okay, so we're probably going to need... Huh. Not registering as fertilized yet for some odd reason. Now, let's go top up. We know we fertilized it. Let me just get out and... Okay, so the fertilization is showing it as 50%. It does need rolling. We knew that. So it is registering as fertilized. So we are going to need at least one more application on it. Which probably means it'll probably show up on the map tomorrow. When we advance to the next day. We'll go and top up uh, our fertilizer here real quick. Then we'll run this tractor to the other field.
And we'll check on how our grass is doing. Clean that up and we'll get the fertilization done on that field as well. And then we'll roll the two fields and that should do it. We can get that done today then we'll have a day to actually clean up the farm tomorrow the farmyard or in the next video maybe I did actually find another interesting map I mean it's it's not as beautiful as this map is but um, did find another map that maybe we'll all right. That should be. Maybe we'll see how it uh, plays out later. Another series. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right, we'll go and uh, go to the other field now. We'll drop this tractor off. We'll check on how the uh, planning is going over there. If that's all done, then we'll go and clean up the pieces we need to clean up. Get planted there, and then we'll finish that off, and we'll get the rolling going on uh, the wheat field. So that we can get that done as well Let's check on this. Okay. It's actually almost done.
So we'll hang out here and we'll get the grass planted and clean that all up. So at least we're getting stuff done today. <laughs> right, so while that's actually doing its thing, let's come over here. And grab the roller. As well get the rolling going. right eh. actually help if I get my camera view correct too all right here we go we're starting to roll like a different texture maybe all right well huh. oh it does have a different texture okay
And we'll just do this one by hand, I guess. Can you imagine back in the day when they were trying to, if they were trying to do this, say, back in the 1700s? I don't think they actually rolled their fields in the 1700s, but can you imagine having to do that by hand? Imagine having to do all of this by hand. You know, plowing the field, getting the stones out of the field, planting the seeds, cultivating the fields, uh, putting fertilizer down on the fields, all of that. Imagine doing all this by hand. How would you feel? Would you enjoy doing it that way, or do you think <laughs> we maybe have it a little too easy today? Believe it or not, what you're seeing here in this series, ladies and gentlemen, is what goes into farming in the real world. And um, this is what happens. You have to plow the fields. You have to put lime on the fields. You have to uh, cultivate the fields and remove the stone. You have to plant the fields. You have to fertilize this, the fields and take care of the fields. And you have to remove the weeds and all of that. And do pest control to make sure unwanted pests don't uh, destroy your crops. It is not, you know, a lot of people, I've heard a lot of a lot of situations where people have thought, well, farming looks easy. I'm going to go ahead and try it. And then they find out that it's not as easy um, as they thought. And they get bored of it quickly. I want to do something else. Um, so what I would say is, you know, for people who are thinking about getting into farming, it's great. It can be rewarding. But please be sure that you're willing to stick it out for the long haul because it's a lot of work too. And I say that from experience because I did grow up in a community that was mostly dairy farms. I know it goes into the work a farmer's day. I helped out on a farm and all that. So I, I kind of have an idea of what it's like. You're up at four o'clock in the morning. You're in the, you're doing, you're feeding your animals and whatnot by five o'clock. Your day really does not, is not a normal nine to five type of job. So, and it does take a lot of work. So just, you know, please keep that in mind if you're gonna get into farming. It can be very rewarding and uplifting, but make sure that you're in it for the right reasons, please. That's all I got. That's my rant on that. My farming sim rant. <laughs> I hope you liked. All right, let's see if that works now. Well, looks like our other guy is done over there. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be okay.
Okay. Alright, so it looks like it's all planted. This is not. So yeah, you do, you do have to be careful um, when it comes to it. Uh, but, you know, can it be rewarding? You know, is it something that you should get into? I can't give you that answer. Um, and I'm not going to. Because I don't know you. I don't know what your, you know, your work, your work ethic is. I'm not saying that anybody watching this has a good, bad work ethic or anything like that. Um, I'm just simply pointing out that it's not for everybody. You know, farming takes a lot of work. You know, you kind of have to like working outside. You have to like, you know, a lot of things. You have to enjoy being around animals. Um, might actually help if I turn the cedar on. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to put grass in this field, ladies and gentlemen. Because this, these darn telephone lines, power lines, whatever you want to call them, they're going to annoy me. Would have been nice if the map author would have made it so that you can drive right through them. So, map authors, if you're listening and you're going to put power lines and telephone poles in the middle of a field like this, please make them uh, so that you can drive through them. Make our lives easier, please. This is the next one right here. Yeah. Doesn't looks like it actually went around it. Otherwise, um, I would say pretty much, I think that's the only, only problem with this map I have. Is that they're not, the map author did not make that so that you could, you know, drive uh, through those power lines. Telephone poles there. We call them telephone poles here in the U.S. I don't know what, I don't know what they would probably call them over in Europe. I think that I probably don't want to know. Alright. 
see if this will work. Yeah, it should work. Yeah, yeah, it should work. Okay, cool. <laughs> So we have one more telephone pole to fix after we get this one done. And this is kind of why I wanted, I ended up deciding, ladies and gentlemen, that we should just plant grass in this field. Just because then it's done, I don't have to worry about it, and um, yeah. So that's why we're doing this. That's why we're putting grass in this field. We'll have to get it fertilized and rolled. But after that, once it's fully fertilized, the only time we're going to be in this field, working this field is when we're cutting the grass for hay and grass bales. So... All right, we'll have to clean up around that. Oh, that's okay. I can live with that. And this uh, field is not going to take us long to fertilize at all. Um... Fertilizing this shield, this shield, yeah. This field should only be like a five or ten minute, pro, five or ten minute job for us. So the two fields will be fertilized in this video for sure. We can get the other field, the rolling finished in the other field. We'll go back and check on that one after we're done. And we'll come over here and we shall get this field rolled. And then tomorrow, and then in, and then in the next video, we'll have a day, in-game day to get some stuff around the farmyard done. Make the farmyard look a little better. That's always a good thing. As you can probably tell, I am my wonderful self. I have gotten got a good night's sleep last night, so. I am starting to feel better.
much better. All right, if you have had the sound just cut in and out on you in the video, I do know I do not know why that happens. That should not happen. I blame Microsoft and the manufacturers of the hardware cuz nothing is disconnected anywhere on this system. Oh, beautiful, it's raining in the game. Oh. Okay. Do the same thing here. And just so that we have a So we know we can get it all done, ladies and gentlemen. I will advent I will push the daytime the daylight back a little bit. We will advance the day when we get done here. I think I'll need to do the uh edge there a little bit too after we're done with this part so That's okay. You always gonna have to clean up around that telephone line, telephone pole anyway.
Okay. Go and clean up this edging real quick. Might as well be here. All right. Why does that feel? Yay. All right, here we go. Let's bring the cedar home. This field now has grass planted. We'll come back and we'll fertilize this.
clean up our cedar. There we go. And it looks like this one's gonna give us a little bit of trouble. Oh, okay. No. I think we can take care of this real quick. Can't really tell. Uh, look at the map, ladies and gentlemen, because I can't really tell. Okay, so it looks like I did actually get most of this down here. We'll just go around, if you guys don't mind, we'll finish up the rolling on this field. Knew I should have done this myself. Okay. Right, let's go over here and finish up this part. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Alright, so we're getting there. <laughs> That's what I like to see.
Actually, I think using upgrading to these bigger tractors, I think is we're gonna find is a smart idea. All right, we're almost done. You can just barely make out where the where the rolling didn't occur. Um, that might be something Giants might might want to, Giants uh, Soccer might want to actually um, fix, is making the rolling texture distinguishable from the, um, the planting, the planted texture. Be a little bit better if they could make that a little bit easier to distinguish between the two. So, if you are listening, if you do happen to see this video, somebody from Giants, that might be something to think about. Please. It would be very helpful to somebody who has problems with their eyesight that wants to play your game. Alright, let's see if I got it. I'm pointing the wrong way. Okay, I'm on target. I'm on it right now. Tractor with this much power should not be struggling like that.
I still missed it. <sighs> okay, I'm right on it. Good. Good, 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 good. Just gotta go over here. I mean, when I see it on the map, I know where to go, but it's like, like I'm right on top of it. But on the actual land, In the actual land, it's not so easy to see. And there goes that audio cutting in and out again. They really need to fix that. But that's not Giants, that's Microsoft and hardware manufacturers need to stop playing games. Stop introducing bugs that they know they shouldn't be introducing. All right, this field is rolled. Yeah, this field's rolled. All right. That's awesome news. And I know that we got to finish up this video here shortly, but let's uh let's do ourselves a favor. Let's finish up what we need to do with this other field over here. I'm going to try... I cut through their field, but I'm don't think they're gonna mind because there's no crop in it yet. I have an idea, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if this let's see if my idea works. Let's see if rolling this field first is makes it makes life any better for us. Be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, I can see it does change the shade of color of the texture, but 
I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> I think the strategy is going to have to be more of one of, uh, we go back over the field manually. We're going to have to anyway with this field, but I was kind of hoping. It looks like it was able to get there. That's good news. You can kind of see the texture. It does make the shade of texture a little bit lighter. But, um... Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I, maybe I need to roll the field before I spray the fertilizer. Maybe that's what my problem is. Which that could be. And if that is the case, that then that may be partly on partly my fault and partly their giant's fault because they could make the texture a little bit easier to tell Of course, they probably didn't expect someone like me to come in here and fertilize, put fertilizer down first and then roll the field after planting. I do tend to do things in ways that people wouldn't expect me to do normally, so that would not be a surprise. You 
can make it by there. There you go. Don't give me a headache. <laughs> This time, though, I should actually have a pretty good idea of where I need to actually do manually. I think we just got to remember that after we plant the fields in the future, we do the rolling before we do the fertilizing. I think that'll help. Yeah, I think that will help, actually. <clears throat> yeah, I can kind of see it. the texture's a little lighter this way. Okay, so that's how we'll do it. Again, it's about learning, you know? It's backing all the way up here. Oh, it's because of this. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that telephone pole. <laughs> hmm. well, we'll let the hired worker finish the rolling, doing its part of the rolling, and then we'll go back over it and get those areas that we need to get that it couldn't get and uh, then we'll quickly throw it out put the fertilizer on the field and then that will get us to a good a good point where we want to kind of be And no, I'm not talking about the place where everybody knows your name, either. <laughs> that was a good TV show. To a, to a point. Not a... One thing I will say is that about TV shows is that, um, you know, the TV shows out there, when we're kids, we don't understand why our parents may or may not want us to watch a certain type of TV show. But as we get older, if we use our heads and our brains, uh, we can figure out why they probably may not have liked those TV shows. Some are good and some are bad. You know, but you have to learn. You also have to, I think, learn to uh, put things in context and in their right place, too. And, you 
Not everybody knows how to do that. We are getting close to this field being done. I cannot wait to throw fertilizer down on this field and be done with it. Now, like I said, with this field, we will have to We'll still have to uh, come back and put down another uh, another application of fertilizer. But I think we can manage that easily enough. Yeah, I kind of can see where it's been rolled. I think it I think part of it is my my mistake. I think you have to actually I think they intended it for you to actually roll the field before you put the fertilizer down in the game, which would make sense. That's technically how you'd want to do it in the real world, too. Especially where you, if you're using liquid fertilizer, that can seep down into the ground anyway, so. Um, no, it's not as big an issue of rolling the fields first. And the reason why you'd want to roll the fields after you plant them anyway is it helps to make sure you can actually get the seeds a little deeper into the ground and it gives them a better chance of survival during harsh weather. So that's why they would do that. And, um, you know, that's, it does actually make a lot of sense when you think about it. Do this real quick. We'll finish up this field, ladies and gentlemen, and then we will throw the fertilizer down. Yeah, I kind of have an idea. I can kind of see where it's rolled it. I will have to accept that I screwed that up.
Well, I could whine and complain and say it's not fair. <laughs> Well, that wouldn't be right either, so. Especially when the mistake is mine in the first place. Let's check to make sure. Huh. Missed a lot. Well, at least we'll have the field fertilized and rolled, so. is going to do some of that. Good. And this is why I used the hired AI. <laughs> this is why. But if it actually can help, then I'll use it, you know? Especially with my eyesight, you know, the AI does actually help in this kind of a game. Let's me enjoy the game, too.
you can kind of tell the AI is having to think too a little bit. See what it's up to. Okay, it's going to clean up over here a little bit. That's good. It knows it missed an area over here. to that yeah See how it did. All right, let's. We'll have to do the rest of this, I think, on by hand manually, but that's okay. Do around the edges first. All right, good. We're getting there. Once we throw the fertilizer down, we'll be able to see where we need to clean up.
Let's uh, go along this edge, clean this all up up here. Get this corner over here while we're at it. Right, if we go down, we should get the bulk of it. Okay, I think I gotta come back up this way to do that. Did I get all that? Yeah, I did. All right. Just real quick. Spin around like that. Perfect, right on top of that. Aha! That one worked out good. Okay, now let's get around this telephone pole right here. Okay. All right, we'll clean this up while we're at it. We're actually um, doing pretty well. Uh, you know, getting this field rolled mostly because you kind of know where the suspect areas are because of those telephone poles so and you know i can kind of see make out the texture difference here so Let it 
let's save. All right, there, clean that up. All right, so we got to go and clean up a couple more areas, a couple more pieces, and then this field will be rolled. So we are headed the right way. Yeah, even this tractor has problems. Struggles a little bit to times, but it, it's not as bad as our smaller tractors and our medium tractors. All right, we are right on point. Okay, and unless I've missed my guess. All right, we took care of that. Let's go up here. And... Messing up. Okay. All right, this field is rolled, my friends. All right, let's get this. Let's get this uh, back to the farm. And we'll pop, run back over here, and we'll fertilize, and that'll take care of that. Boy, we're getting a lot done here, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow we're going to be able, in the next video, we'll be able to start cleaning up the farmyard a little bit. Especially poor Rex's area. Or Rover, as we've named him.
Clean off the tractor real quick and this roller. Unfold. All right, let's get to it. Don't want to waste our fertil our uh, fertilizer. It does cost money. Now because of the size of the arms on this sprayer, it might actually be better off that we do it manually. Or at least around those telephone poles. Maybe the better way to do it.
Yeah, we'll let it do its thing. This time, at least, we know where it's going to be, where, where we're going to have to come back and fix, clean up with it, so not too worried. Looks like it does not like the... Hmm, excuse me. All right, so it does look like it does not like the... This is kind of what I thought was going to have to be the case. Okay, well...
That actually is not as hard as I thought it would be, ladies and gentlemen, to be honest with you. I figured this one, fertilizing this field, is going to be a little bit harder around these telephone poles. But to be honest, it's actually turned out to be just a bit easier than I thought it would be. Um... I am kind of glad for that because I didn't want to have to worry too much. And we are going to just make it with the fertilizer, which is really good. Yeah, just going to make it. Uh, let's make sure we didn't miss anything. We're okay. We did it. We'll fold up. Okay. Well. We'll go back and we'll finish up there. And I shall need to Remember to talk to the municipality here. Try to figure out what our taxes are going to be. They did tell me that, um, and I kind of forgot to mention this, they did tell me that there were back taxes overdue uh, before I got here, but they were willing to wait and, until the farm could afford it. Need to talk to them and uh, have a chat with them and find out how much that's going to cost us. I will do that. Let you guys know what that one will be next time. Okay. Let's clean up our equipment here. Perfect. This is something that, uh, annoying. They need to deal with collisions better, especially with doorways and around objects and whatnot. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you, that gets us done. We got the wheat field planted. We got the grass field planted. Both fields are rolled and the first application of fertilizer is done. 
We will have to put another application of fertilizer on that, but I think we can wait until October to do that. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, do please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified if there, when new videos are released. And be sure to leave your comments and feedback and suggestions in the videos in the comments section. I do enjoy those. Also, there will be there's always stuff in the community section as well. But if you did enjoy the video, I do appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you next time here on the Carpathian Farm. With that, my friends, it is great to see everybody. Happy gaming.